Corner friends. Thanks for joining Shan's Corner. Um, today we are going to be doing a seafood boy, yo. Finally, yay! I am so excited. So I'm gonna open her up. I have, um, I think there's shrimp and crab legs, potatoes, corn, and eggs. I think is in here. Thank you for watching my last video. For those who watched, and hung out with me for the vlog. Um, so I have not went live yet, um, but I do plan to. And I also plan on doing a giveaway, so make sure that you follow me on social media. Um, because that's where um, I'm trying to get, you know, I'm a small channel, so I am trying to grow my channel. So I am going to be doing a giveaway for $100. Once I hit um, 100 subscribers, I will pick a lucky person to win the $100 giveaway. So I will, um, I probably will post about it on my Facebook page, Shan's Corner. Um, so make sure that, um, and in order to win, you will have to be subscribed to my Facebook page, my Instagram page, and also my YouTube channel. Um, so I'll give you more details on that soon. Guys, they did not want me to get in this, and these nails are not making it any better. Goodness gracious. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna pour it out. I think it would be just easier to keep it in this nice little container. And I guarantee when my husband comes home from work, he is going to know that I had a seafood boil. He has his nose boil and he does not like seafood. He does, he's not a fan of garlic. So, and it seems to just come out of my pore, so let me show you guys. Give you guys a look there. Y'all see that? That goodness, that good, good. That drip, drip, that good, good. So I'm being a little ratchet today. I got a little um, lemon juice in here because um, I was being petty, guys. So um, they wanted like two or three dollars for lemon slices. And the thing about it is, is when you sit in and dine in they give them to you for free so i don't understand why i just couldn't get any to go so i just pour some lemon sauce in here i am drinking a lima rita um but i also have my fanta here my pineapple fanta that is good we're gonna say grace and get started into this goodness guys Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food we're about to receive for the nation of our bodies. Bless the hands and prepared it. In Jesus' name, I pray and count it done. Amen. 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 Now, this is, I got this from, I think it's called King Crabs. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't particularly like this, this, this place. Um, but I was being kind of lazy today and I didn't want to go grab it, so I door dashed it and all the ones that I liked actually were not, um, they weren't open yet. So, um, and this is their, it's called Naptown Sauce. I have no clue what it is. Um, hopefully I'll like it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just begin. Put some lemon on there. Y'all want some shrimp? That drip. So the sauce is, I kind of like my spicy sauce. Um, this is more of a garlic butter sauce, this Naptown sauce. But it will do. And like I said, I have some crab legs, some shrimp, corn, boiled egg, and potatoes. Ugh. 
Yeah, it's um, it's um, it's um, like a butter, garlic butter sauce. Um, so would I get it again? Probably not, because I like them with the seafood boys. I like the more um, spicy sauces. Now I am going to try. I have it in my cart um, for when I get a chance. I'm actually going to try B Loves. I'm gonna because I've still never tried her mild or her spicy. So I'm going to try the mild. I'm going to see if I can order the mild and the new garlic um, garlic butter. I think it is. Everybody has been doing videos and say say it's really good. So. Um, and it looks, the ingredients look good, so. But this is, the sauce on this is, um, it's a mouth. Not a, it's not a real strong sauce. It's really light. I don't have scissors or crackers, so we're going to be a little ratchet today. You know, this is one thing you just can't eat. Cute. Can't eat no crap. Cute. Got to get in there. And I just, I got to have my lemon. I'm with be love. Get lemon. And actually... This ain't the best lemon juice either. <laughs> That's okay. Maybe it's just made a day, but. That lemon could be a little better. It could be because it's not a fresh lemon. I had some lemon juice. I told you I was being a little ratchet. So I had some lemon juice in the uh, refrigerator. So, oh. <sighs> that margarita is hitting now. What y'all doing, girls and guys? What you guys and girls doing? What y'all doing? Huh? What y'all eating on? Have me some. So, if you like sushi, um, fresh time, I did not know have really good sushi and um I had the California roll and the spicy tuna roll now let me just say this I really was not a fan of the raw sushi but the spicy tuna actually I actually prefer that now better than the um the uh California roll and you know what guys So, but yes, the spicy uh, tuna was popping. I got a little bit more in the refrigerator. I was, it was so good. I had to make my stop, self stop eating it. So I just was going and going, girl. Girl, it was just. Mm. So, if you have a fresh time near you. Get you some of that shrimp. And then they also had this, um, it's a, it was beef taco dip. So it had like the beef, the sour cream, tomatoes, um, well, uh, tomatoes, jalapenos, and spices. So everything was already seasoned in it, was already in it. Um, and it was really, really good. It was really, really good. This sauce, I'm not bad. It needs some spice kick to it. Y'all know about them eggs. Y'all better get y'all some eggs in that sauce. In that sauce, though. <laughs> you know? 
This is so good. You know how you just been waiting and waiting, child. And you finally get what you've been waiting for. Mm, mm, mm. Egg. And I only eat egg boiled eggs. I don't eat any other type of egg. Not the egg girl. But in that sauce, especially the spicier sauces, oh my God, with the, with the fresh garlic and the ginger and stuff on it. Mm, mm, mm. Got me thinking about when Tosh from Steph and Tosh be doing her egg volcano. Ooh. Shout out to Zaddy Chunk Chunk for doing his video. You know, if you follow him, you know he's been sick. That is B Love Son. We talked about him um, in um, the last video, I think. Um, but anywho, he um, posted his first video since he's been sick. And um, you can really still hear his breathing. It's still really labored. Not sure why he didn't have his oxygen other than the fact that he was doing the video. Um, and that probably would have been too much trying to do with the oxygen thing. But um, just still wishing him positive vibes and a full recovery, you know. And just let him get some rest. Don't try to overdo it. Um, I think your fans is, you know, will still be there when you get well. So it was I was glad to um when I checked my notifications and saw he posted, I was really, really glad um that he posted it. Um but I did have a hard time watching it because he just sounded so bad. Um and I, it just made me sad because he, you know, I love their whole family and so just to see kind of see him like that, you know, and it just shows his work ethic and how much he cares about his ZCC family. So shout out to you, Dalvin. Um, and again, we hope you get um, at 100% really, really soon. <clears throat> so guys, do you guys think that the kids are going to be able to um, to do a, um, a whole school year in person. Um, I think they're gonna shut back down again because um, I've seen where mostly all the schools have already have some sort of issue. So, I think they're gonna have to, I don't think they're gonna, they're gonna, because these numbers and things are not, uh, going uh, they're going back up now I know a lot of people feel a lot of the non-vaccinated people feel like um you know they're being discriminated against um because some places have said I don't know where in particular so don't quote me on this guys but there was some establishment that Pretty much said, no vaccine, no service, pretty much. Um, I don't think you should be able to do that. Because I do think that people should have a free will and a free choice to do make their decisions when it comes to their health and certain things. So, I think that you should require a mask. But I think saying no service is, is kind of a bit extreme now. That's just my opinion. Um... My husband, for example, is one that very, very stern about people getting vaccinated and being around people who are not vaccinated. So there are some people who, not that I don't take it as serious as he does, um, but for me, you know, I don't want to be made to do anything either. So, and I know that there are some people that have religious um, beliefs, some people who have autoimmune um, diseases that can you know their body can't take that vaccine vaccination so you know everybody is not just being as you want to say defiant quote unquote <laughs> that was my quote <laughs> but 
you know, everybody's not being defiant. Some people truly cannot take the shot. So I don't know if, if we should be ex that extreme, but that's just my personal opinion. Tell me in the comments what y'all think about that. Because, you know, I think everybody's views and re opinions should be respected. Um, I'm very fortunate. Um, I do work outside of YouTube. Um, my employer, and I'm not going to say my company's name. We're not going to do that. But my employer, I am grateful that they have been very, very, very gracious and, and flexible. Um, when it, you know, we're still working from home. But... You know, even when we go back, they've already said there's going to have to be some flexibility. So, I am grateful for that, that they are willing. Because my husband's job throughout this whole time has never shut down, never let them work. He, he's, a, um, he's a machine operator or a machinist. Uh, and um, so, he the, work, the type of work that he does... You know, dealing with parts and things like that. It's not something you can do from home. So, unfortunately, he's had to weather the storm, you know, and risk his health so that he can provide for his family. And I am appreciative of that. Um, so, I do definitely appreciate my employer because everybody's employer is not being as accommodating. Um, so, if you do work for someone who's, um, you know, being accommodating, towards you and your family situation, whatever that may be, you know, you don't, you know, you should be very, you know, appreciative of that. I think that, you know, those spikes on those things be kind of rough from time to time. I think that kind of just, mm, 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 mm. so yeah, I'm very thankful. When I look at the news and I look at all these people who, are relying on unemployment because they have to, not because they want to, you know, because of COVID, they, their business was shut down, went away, whatever the case may be. And I've not missed a paycheck. So for that, you know, I thank the Lord for that. Uh, you know, I'm a firm believer in being appreciative of things because it could be definitely much worse. So to all those who are essential workers, um, workers who have had to weather this storm for their families. Shout out to you, um, you know. And to all these employers who are accommodating their employees, shout out to you. Because um, you don't have to, but you understand and you value your employee and that's what's up. So I just want to say that. Um, so what y'all tell me some shows to watch because I'm wanna buy that 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 snow crab there. Oh uh, I have ran out of stuff. I didn't know I said it in the last video, but yeah, I think I done watch all I can on TV. Um excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm being a little silly today. A little playful. A little playful. You know, sometimes when you see the news and see what's going on in the world, you can't do nothing but just say, thank you, Lord, for covering me. Gotta take a bite of that. Take a bite. So thank you, Lord, for covering me. Like, oh, she trying to preach today. You know, sometimes you just look back over that life, child. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, yeah. Look out for the mm, mm, mm. 
Yeah, I'm so full. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I have these little places I have noticed will load your stuff down with the potatoes. And you just be like, I don't want all them potatoes. Them potatoes will get you full. Don't play around with them potatoes. Well, yeah, get the food, then you ain't gonna want them. The, 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 the good meat. The good meat. <laughs> I know y'all sick of me today. I know, child. I know. I She got issues. Pray for me. Mm-hmm. I just like to have fun, y'all. Oh, yeah. good that is so good margarita me please I can't sing, as you can tell. I didn't get those. Fuck. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, fuck. Mm, mm, mm. But if I had some pipes, child, you wouldn't be able to tell me nothing. <laughs> now, my daughter, she can sing. I was hoping to get her, but she's working on a, on a, um, mm, an intro for me. Um, my daughter, even though she's a performance major, sometimes she gets a little shy. But I told her, I don't want nobody but her to sing my intro. <laughs> so hopefully that will get done soon. She's back at school, so every time I call her, she's too busy for a little old mommy. And had the nerve to tell me not to quit calling this and text her instead because she was busy. Child. <laughs> You ain't never too busy for your mama. <laughs> but no, she's she's um she's something else. Girl. There we go. 
We ain't gonna do it like that because it was tripping. It was tripping. It was tripping. Tripping, trip, trip, trip. Drip, trip. That lemon trip. more shrimp and I'm gonna be done. But, ooh, excuse me. Save the rest of these shrimps and potatoes. They're gonna be my little snack. My little snacky snack gotta hide it in the oven because touch my husband he gets a he be so mad about that thing about me getting the seafood because he just hates how it smells. Huh? Try them. He would prefer for me to just eat it at the place versus Eating it at home. Oh, eating it at home. But how? I do what you got, though. And then I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I tell I ain't got nothing to do better today with my life than to act silly with y'all. This is act silly with y'all. Okay, last one. Drip, drip. Drip, drip. Drip, drip. Drip, drip. Is going to be it. Yeah. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> yes, Margarita. Okay, that's it, guys, for today. Um, if you were eating with me, I hope you are done. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Don't forget to follow me on social media, Facebook, Shan's Corner, two words, capital S-H-A-N-N apostrophe S, capital C-O-R-N-E-R, two words, Instagram, all one word, Shan's Corner, S-H-A-N-N-S-C-O-R-N-E-R. Until next time, my corner friends, ta-da!